Hello, I'm Charlotte Slinkert. I'm curator of the Cape River Heritage Museum here in Cape Girardeau. Tonight, we're having our grand opening. We're opening for the season. We've been closed for several months while we've renovated and added new displays. We now have four rooms of exhibits in the museum. We've added a display downstairs of both Edwardian and Victorian clothing. We also have a river room with all things that pertain to the river. We have a very special exhibit of antique automobiles, which features a 1928 Ford automobile and a Rolls Royce, a 1935 Rolls Royce that's really been a showstopper this season. But these new displays complement the other displays that we have here in the museum. So we now have four rooms of exhibits here in Cape Girardeau, and we really hope people will come out and see the things that we do have. This display features Jean-Pierre Girardeau, the namesake of Cape Girardeau. We have an artist's concept of how he may have looked. Out here in the wilderness, they weren't having their portraits painted. They were dodging arrows. So this is an artist's concept of how a successful Frenchman may have looked. He spoke his native French, some English because he served as an interpreter for the British and he was quite a person. This portrait shows him as a successful merchant. His mother lived in New Orleans, he went up and down the river, and he had the trading post here in Cape Girardeau. About 1782, Girardeau no longer appears in the records at Kaskaskia. We don't know what happened, we just know he no longer appears in the records. That was in 1782. Shortly afterwards, Another Frenchman shows up named Louis Larmer, and Louis Larmer occupies the same site that Gerardo had left at the trading post. Louis Larmer was an interesting man. His wife was named Charlotte, and she was half Iroquois and half French. Her father was a French officer. Cape Girardeau has a French name, but we were never a French city like St. Louis and St. Genevieve, who were settled by French people. Cape Girardeau was never settled by French people, but we have a French connection because our origins go back to Girardeau, our namesake, and Louis Larmer, the founder of the city. So we do have a French connection here in Cape Girardeau. We are open on Thursday, Friday and Saturday from noon till four o'clock. We open in the spring and we'll close probably around December.